Hey, this is Mr. Mason Ed, and today we are going to practice rotating an object 90 degrees clockwise and counterclockwise on the coordinate plane. The first thing that we have to do is identify the current location or coordinates of each point of the object in question. So let's figure out where point A, B, and C is currently located. Point A is located at negative 9, positive 3. So we're going to write negative 9, positive 3. Point B is located at negative 9, positive 11. Point C is currently located at negative 5, positive 3. Okay, after you have figured out the current location of your points, for any 90 degree rotation, what I want you to do is take both points and just swap them out. What I mean by that is take the 9 and 3 for point A and switch it around to be 3 and 9. And what I want to do for now is just ignore any of the negative signs. We'll deal with that in a moment. So for point B, I'm going to switch around 9 and 11 to be 11 and 9. And for point C, I'm going to switch 5 and 3 to be 3 and 5. Now after you have switched around the numbers, um, irregardless of the negative sign, you just ignore those for now. You figure out what quadrant you are rotating to. Well, let's start with the 90 degree rotation clockwise. So if we are starting in this quadrant here and we make a 90 degree rotation from the origin, 90 degrees, we will end up in quadrant number one. In quadrant number one, all of the x values and all of the y values are positive, which means after we switch the numbers, we're going to keep all of the x's positive and all of the y's positive. So the new location of A is 3, 9. The new location of B is 11, 9. And the new location of C is 3, 5. So let's plot these coordinates to, just to see what this triangle looks like. So let's start with A. We're going to find positive 3 and go up 9. That's the new A. And then we're going to find positive 11, positive 9. Here's positive 11, and then we go up 9. That is the new location of B. And of course, C is located at positive 3, positive 5. And then we connect the points. And that's what the triangle looks like when you rotate it 90 degrees clockwise on the coordinate plane. Now let's take the same triangle and rotate it 90 degrees counterclockwise. So we're going to start with our original points here and do the same thing. We're going to switch around the original x and y value. So we're going to change 9, 3 to 3, 9. And then we're going to change 9, 11 to 11, 9. And next we're going to change 5, 3 to 3, 5. And remember, after switching the numbers around for any 90 degree rotation, you have to next figure out what quadrant you are rotating to. Well, we started here, and now we're going to go 90 degrees counterclockwise, which will put us in quadrant 3. And in quadrant 3, all of the x values are negative, and all of the y values are also negative, which means I'm going to change all of my x values to negative values as well as my y values. Now that we've done that, all we have to do is plot these points on the coordinate plane. So let's go over and plot negative 3, negative 9. So we're going to go over 1, 2, 3. And then we're going to go down 9. This is the new location of A. Next, we are going to find negative 11, negative 9. So we're going to go over 11 and then down 9. And that's the new location of B. And for point C, we have to go to the left 3 and down 5. So we're going to go 1, 2, 3, and down 5. And that's the new location of C. And then we connect our points. And that will give us our rotated shape. So to do any 90 degree rotation, Remember, just take the two numbers and ignore the sign to begin with and switch them around. And after you have switched around those numbers, see what quadrant that you will end up in and write in your signs according to the quadrant that you ended up in. 
And that's all you have to do for any 90 degree rotation.